Happy Friday, beloves. Married at First Sight, Season 14, Episode 6, Part 2. This is the second part of this week's review. You know, I just don't have two hours in the mornings anymore to do Married at First Sight. So I've been splitting it up, and I just can't take more than an hour. So this is the second part. I know I was, was going to try to come on last night. I just couldn't. I was sleeping. But anyways, I want to thank you for your love and support. Happy, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hopefully, hopefully I can hang with you later tonight. Hopefully. Okay, I'm going to a funeral this morning. So hopefully I'll get back and have enough time to rest. And um, I could be hanging out with you. Be sure to check out my video I just did this morning on Allegedly Jeans about Wendy. I love me some Wendy Williams. I don't care what nobody say about Wendy. I love me some Wendy Williams. Plus, she's a Jersey girl, okay? And I'm a Jersey girl. So... Thank you for those of you who have picked up my new book, my new book, Take Your Cookie Off the Table. Thank you for those reviews. Be sure to leave a review for me, okay? One lady left a one saying she thought it was a, it should have been. It should have been a devo a journal and not a devotional. It's a journal and not a something. So this is why I ask you guys so much for your reviews. Be sure, be sure to leave a glowing review for me. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for my, all my new cousins. And of course, all my other cousins that's been hanging with me. Thank you for those of you who have joined my Patreon. If you want to support me on a monthly basis, Janice, I love your content. Oh my God, you're so wonderful. My Patreon is where you show me love. I can talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, but, but I give you a book, okay? For your support, you get a book. Every time a new book is published, you get the book. So be sure to join the Patreon. Also, also, I am finalizing my dating mentoring membership, okay? So if you want my mentorship, you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, that is where you'll be able to do that. There will only be a paid membership. There is no lurkers, no spot for lurkers over there. Okay, I have enough lurkers on my YouTube, and I give out a lot on my YouTube. And um, so I really want to be able to do my mentoring and my dating content full time. So in order for me to do that, the membership is just the foundation for me to do that. Okay. So I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for those comments. I'm going to try to get them, get to them today. Listen, in order for us to have an, an honest conversation about Alyssa and Chris, we need to begin the conversation, every statement about Chris and Alyssa, we need to begin by saying the producers, aka the fake spurts, matched Chris and Alyssa for drama. If, if, if you can't start with admitting that they were matched for drama, I don't think we can have an honest conversation about, about them. Okay. We have to be able to admit and accept that they were matched for drama. I totally agree with you. I, I don't think Alyssa should have come on the show, but, 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 you know what but does, but take out what I just said. I think she had to come on the show so that they can have, the producers can have the, the, the clips and so on. Because all the other ladies that left, they left on the honeymoon, right? I think Alyssa should go home. I totally agree with you. I think Alyssa should walk away. And I think next week might be her last time seeing her. Um, on the show, um, I'm exhausted with the whole situation between Chris and Alyssa because I know it's producers pushed and they were matched for drama and stuff like that. But however, I do not agree. I do not agree that she should be forced to do anything with Chris against her will. Okay. Um, I don't think if she don't want to talk to him, I don't think she should have to talk to him. Um, she has already said several times, uh, we were both robbed. We both did not get what we asked for. Let's have a united front against the, the fake spurts. Um, uh, you know, we're not compatible. Um, you're, you know, you're not what I would have wanted. And then remember that clip she said, is there a dentist in the room? She specifically asked for a man with nice mouth, nice teeth. Okay. She specifically asks, I've been reading, she specifically asks for a man with a nice body. Well, Chris is, I don't know if, I don't think Chris is obese, but he's obviously overweight, okay? So I think to be fair, to be fair to both Chris and Alyssa, we need to begin the conversation by saying they were a match for drama. I do feel sorry for Chris because see, 
Thank you. Shout out to uh, Alyssa. Thank you, Alyssa. Alyssa said, Chris in my book is Mr. Explanation. Okay. They are the guys that keep demanding you explain to them why you're not interested instead of just accepting that I'm not interested because of their ego. They cannot understand that you don't want them. Okay. And I think Chris is, Chris is in that mindset where, why don't you want me? I'm wonderful. We're good on peep on paper. She's not attracted to you. And what Chris needs to do is stop harassing Alyssa. But, but I understand the producers are pushing him, pushing them to have these, these, these conversations. I agree with everything you say, with the exception of if she is not, she should not be forced to do anything with Chris. And I think Alyssa should get on the plane and go home. I do agree with that. Okay. So let's just pick up from where we left off. I'm going to try to get in those comments today. Thank you for those of you again, who picked up my book. If you've gotten this book or any of my books, I need reviews, please. Okay. I need reviews. So we left off where Chris is meeting with Lindsay and Mark and Alyssa is meeting with Jasmina and Katina. Okay. And now in the Facebook group, it's a whole racial thing. I have that post. If I remember, I'll read it later. Okay. And yes, we need to talk about Mark and his freaking bed bugs, sir. You going to say that on TV that you have bed bugs? Why haven't you gotten somebody to fumigate the house? Oh my God, Lord. Can you imagine where else he has bed bugs? I just cannot. She don't, she, she don't have to say why. She said, we're not compatible. What more you want, Chris? Oh, yes. Chris, Chris is a pygmatia. What more do you want? You're Mr. Explanation. In my book, 23,000 guys, check this out, ladies. You will have those men who will not understand. If I'm telling you we're not compatible, what the hell more you want me to say to you? We were both robbed. You're not what I wanted. You're not what I asked for. Okay, so who was that? Katina, Jasmina. Katina asked, so do you, you've done everything to make it work. It cannot work. Alyssa, come give me a hug and kiss and let your auntie see you. You're taking pictures today. Over here. Come on. Come, come quickly, Michael. The, this way. No, this way. Come on. <laughs> come, 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 come. I got to take me some pictures too. Look, so I'm taking pictures today. Let the... Your aunties, they said they love your reading. Show them your beautiful face. <laughs> I love this. Do you like your, your outfit? Uh -huh. Stand up. Let them see how, how handsome you look in your in your in your suit and your vest. Okay, this is mommy's favorite color. Why are you hiding your face? Why are you hiding your listen? You need to be nice because guess what? You need them to buy your candy. Okay, I'm More going. Candy. I'm going to ask them to order some some Green cake. Cake, thank you. Your cake. Say, tell them. Say, please order some of, some of my cakes for me, mm. so I can win at my school. Say it. You can't cover your face. Come on, quickly, Michael. Please hold your face. Cake. Order, please order. Please order some cake from me. From me. So I can win. It's not a matter of winning, Mom. You have to get the points. Why are you covering your face so I can get my points at school? It's all that is about points, too. What is it about? Mm. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Give me a kiss, kiss. Mm. Yeah. You look so handsome. Daddy's gonna drop you off this morning. You look so handsome. You look so handsome. You look so handsome. Um, so Katina or Jasmina, Katina, Katina's voice is deep. Uh, she asked, you've done everything to make it work. It's not about making work. It never started. Okay. So let's see what Alyssa is going to say. So basically she's saying a lot of those things with the friends and those things don't, don't sit well with, um, with her. So, you know, you hear all these things that you don't like about a man and then you meet him and then he act crazy, you know, like a man who want me to pay bills. Okay. Like if, you know, I just, I just, I don't care how tall, handsome, dark you are. 
you know, you want me to pay some bills. I'm just like, I start itching. <laughs> okay. Of course, every woman has to make the decision what type of man she wants. Okay. But she's just, she's just not attracted to him and she's not, they're not compatible. So, so Katina, Katina is saying, yeah, even though you hear from the person, so you have to get some know. So there's nothing to get to know. She's not attracted. He's the opposite of everything she asked for. It cannot work. It will not work. When you force stuff together, remember? How y'all was forcing um, the Dusty and uh, Merla last season? Y'all was forced. They can't work. It, it, it's, it's, it's like a, a peg and a round hip, no matter how hard you try. It's just not going to work because they're not supposed to work, okay? Okay, 9211. My coworker mama passed and I'm going to go. Okay, so it's 9211. Okay, it's just not going to work no matter what you do. Okay. So Katina is saying... She 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 messed up on her and in face face value. About what happened? She's doing her best to be respectful, and I, this is the thing. I don't know what y'all want her to do. I th I think you guys should know by now. I think I am a very very fair reviewer. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. I take little jabs like the teeth, but overall, I think I am fair. I don't see what she is doing. That she's just this terrible person. She just don't want to talk to him. Don't want to spend time with him. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't want to talk to you or spend time with you. But I do agree, Alyssa, get on the plane and go home. But they're probably not going to let her go home because it's drama filled and she's giving the camera what the camera wants. Okay. And another thing, another thing, she's not wrong for her feelings. She's not wrong to feel how she feels. This is why my dating content is different from everybody. I can't do my dating content with anybody. I commented on, a, on another church group, yeah, a YouTube channel yesterday with a couple talking typical church foolishness. They deleted my, my, my comment. And then I went back and said, oh, wow, y'all deleted my comment. But I'm going to go back and check this morning. But uh, my dating content is just different from everybody else because I don't believe a woman should be forced. Okay, because I remember being forced to go out with guys I didn't like and talk to guys I didn't like, and I, 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 I just don't think so. Okay, so back over here with the bed bugs, Mike, the bed bugs. Exactly exactly You're probably exactly what she needs. No, it's not. No, no, no. I don't believe that. I don't believe she's what he's need. Girl, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I just don't believe women should be forced to do anything they don't want to do. And let's remember, they make you think they're going to match you with as close as possible. No, they match you with the opposite of what you want. So, Lindsay, is Mark what you need? Oh, my God. Michael, what are you doing? No, not now. Bye, honey. Love you. Well, Mark the Shark looks good in black. Mark the Shark, black is your color. So Mark the Shark is saying, you know, he's really giving Chris um, props for how he's he's been. 
He's been pushed by the producers. Run after her, bad girl. When you said, I, I think she thought, Alyssa thought, and everybody thought you're going to match with as close as possible to what you what you wanted. I don't think anybody expected they were going to match with the total opposite. And let's remember, let's just not act like we don't know. We don't, oh, Mike, you, you Mike, Mike, that bag, use that bag. Thank you. Let's, let's not forget that most of the couples are matched for drama. They're not matched to succeed. They're matched for drama, okay? Yeah, dream guy. That's what they told him. Well, that's why they asked for pictures and stuff. Why are you asking me for pictures of my ex for, for you to give me something opposite of what 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 you asked? Oh, she's, why did you throw in the the towel so quickly? So she's like, we've had many conversations. Why we don't feel like I'm a match? Okay, here go, Katina. Right, so Katina said, so, well, my personal opinion, you're not physically attracted to him. No, she's not. <laughs> okay. So when she saw him physically, not what she would attracted to. Right. Was I, was I given what I was asked for with the experts? No, they know. We know that. We know that. Right. I would have rather them told me I don't have a match for you than to match me with the opposite of what I asked for. Doesn't align with me. So Katina say you need to tell him straight and blunt. I felt like she's told him. How many times can you say we're not compatible? We didn't get what we asked for. We were both robbed. Okay, Jasmina said she think Alyssa was done from day one. And, and her heart feels for Chris. I, my heart feels for Chris, but don't blame Alyssa. Blame the fake Spurs. She, Chris wanted somebody driven because of quality. The girl you bought the house with, Chris, you know what? This, mm, you, what you did to the girl is coming back to you, okay? What's going to happen tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Oh, God, I can't. His mouth is distracting me. Thank you. Yes, that's what I've been saying. This is what Mark the Shark said. I feel bad for him, but I think he needs to let go. Yes, that's what I've been saying, Chris. Let go. Let go. Yes. Let it go, Christopher. Christopher, let it go. You can't. If she don't like you, she don't want you. Move along. Bye. Ya. Bye. And it's okay. But the girl you bought the house with, Chris, that probably was your woman. But you know, you did her in. You wanted to come on the show. Oh, that water looks so pretty. Oh, my God. Okay, Mark the Shark is flying, Akai. Oh, my God. Uh, Lindsay said Mark the Shark is her favorite person. All right, it's been only three days. Oh, gosh. I used to fly kite when I was a girl. We go to the park and fly kites too with Lexi. Right, Lexi? 
You put your thing on your face? Okay. Okay. Oh, that water looks so refreshing. Oh, Jasmina and the shrimp. Napoleon. What they call me in the Facebook group? Nebo. <laughs> Shout out to Kima. Kima said the Nemo. Okay. Oh, that water looks so nice. I love it. Ooh, Katina, Jasmine is all greased up. <clears throat> oh, God, at the beginning of honeymoon. Ja Michael, just stop talking. Can you just stop talking? Oh, uh, clear the air. How about you stop getting, you get out of your mind talking about, oh, you cut me off. Water is pretty. I don't mind being near the water. I just not going in it. Cause you're here. Say, girl. Say, girl. I'm not trying to mess my hair up. Communication is something they need to work on. Oh, she don't appreciate his tone. Disrespectful and rude. I don't tolerate disrespect. Yes, Jasmine. Let it be known, honey. We don't tolerate disrespect. Okay. I probably swim better than you. She's trying not to make it affect the honeymoon. Child. Ain't no moon. Ain't no honeymoon. You don't like him either, uh, Jasmina. <sighs> He's on the bus and the bullets say you're in my seat. I'm six years old. I'm probably like Three foot nine. I don't know. Get up out of the seat. <laughs> you get up on the boy, so that's my seat too. So he says, I still got some trauma from first grade. Can I have a hug or something? You need to take your little to counseling. Take your little self to counseling. Ugh. These people getting on my nerves, child. I just cannot. See, without without Alyssa and Chris, this is just like, okay. I love uh, Jasmina's bathing suit. She's going to try the water. Oh, I'm hungry. I got to eat me something. What is that she has? Is that a camera she has in her hand? Get, getting in the water is no problem, Jasmine. And you're from the islands, girl. I think she's from the islands. This is the first time she's you're seeing Jasmine smile because you ain't give her nothing to smile about, Luna Napoleon. You ain't give her nothing. You've made you've been rude and disrespectful in her your tone, according to Jasmine. I love her here like this. She's open to it and trying. Are they going to kiss? Oh, they're kissing. Ooh. Oh, gosh. She got to complain about it first and be dramatic. Oh, I just cannot. Child. Don't be doing stuff just to do stuff. Get to the point. Where is the drama? I'm hungry. Child. Go get me some bacon. You know what I'm watching? The Gilded Guide, The Gilded Age. I think I'm going to review it. I love that show, and 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 I'm I'm re I'm catching up on um the da 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 da. I'm watching the um 
The Good Fight, which is the spinoff of The Good Wife. I used to watch it on CBS, and I'm like, I can't. I'm paying to watch it on my computer. So now I'm actually paying to watch it on the computer, on the TV. I just need to call the cable company and get that channel on my kids so I don't have to pay for it. But I've been watching that. I love that. I love any lawyer shows. Okay, they're back. <clears throat> oh, day six of marriage, child. It's been day six forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lindsay, that's a beautiful color. I love that orange dress. Is that like a fire orange? She, Lindsay dresses really nice. She has some nice pieces. When the bed bugs get to them, that's going to be something else. Ooh, who knows what to expect with these people, honey? In other words, the niggas. Okay, that's what she means. Ooh, child, who, 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 who knows what to expect with these people? You know what these people are code for? These people. Mm, I gotta go, go get like I could give me some bacon. Hold on, bubble. Hold on. I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I just gotta get me something to chew. Mm, all these people. Let me show you all the tea. <laughs> Lindsay said, who knows what to expect with these people? <laughs> ah! <laughs> these people, girl. Y'all better be up on these code words. Okay. Alyssa is hugging everybody. Let's see if she hugs Chris. Well, she hugs everybody. She hugs everybody. Oh, Lord, annoying. Chris, I forgot that was on the show. Lord, please don't have no fight. Jasmina is excited to get back home. She missed her job. We had to guess which couple's going to have kids first. Can y'all stay together first? They guess Noy and... um. Everybody's talking about who raise your hand if you want to have kids. Alyssa is like, <laughs> two and a maybe. Noise dead set on three babies. Can you afford three babies, Steve? Okay, Chris said he didn't really want to have kids until the last few years. He wanted to travel and live and have fun. You can say you're not ready to have kids, but you want kids. Until the rest of his life starts to fall. My career, my confidence, like everything it fall into place. Now he feel comfortable. 
You're going to be a great dad one day, Chris. A great husband. Oh, there go Lindsay. Oh, there go Lindsay poking the bear. Anything happen in your marriage you have to work with? I'm glad they're spreading the question around this season because last season I couldn't stand the dusty. Okay, so uh, um, uh, Lou Napoleon said he's having issues with his communication. Now, what's that drink he guys? Looks good. Okay, so he's realized he's being harsh and aggressive. Mm-hmm. The fact that you know and said that, that's step one. Right, the effort, actively trying. Oh, here go poo poo. I learned it's not just I, it's we. <sighs> you know, once Alyssa left, I leave, I'm going to leave too. <laughs> Learn to have patience here. What you say? How about you just take your meds, bro? Just take your meds and go get your new counselor because you something is not working with Olu Pupu. He's just he's too aggressive for me, and he's not an alpha male. Okay, he's more like an abuser or something. That's the type of guy that will punch you in your face or something. Oh no, child! I'm not really no man, and the only man I'm going real in is my little boy. Oh, I love it. The noise says Steve is very analytical. He's very logical, and he's a realist. Yes, honey, I love it. Now talk about the money, girl. You know how I feel, how I touch you, hug you, because of the uh -uh, we don't read between the lines. I need you to tell me. The way they re interact is showing how you feel. Nope. Well, in a way, but I don't want her to think he loves her because of that. Good. Lynn, uh, Chris, uh, Mark says, I have learned to allow my wife to help me. Things he's used to do by himself. Oh, no. Uh, Jasmine, uh, Katina is laughing with Lindsay. Don't, girl. Leave her alone. Don't poke the beer. What was the question? Wait a minute. What was the question? Let me go back because Chris was like... Is it a sunburn and the how about you guys? Ah Chris is like <laughs> Alyssa's like, don't look at me. Yeah, we're good. Ah Chris plucked this fork out of his mouth. They they're not in the same place as other couples are they certainly had bumps. Taking it day by day. We're both still sitting here, so. We're still figuring out the play, Chris says. Alyssa, she said, Chris said, listen now, we don't talk when we're doing outside of our activity. Good. Good, Alyssa. Don't talk to him. Y'all ain't got nothing to talk about. Okay, I do though. I do believe Alyssa should go home, get on the plane and go home. Okay, but it, but you know, it's probably more expensive for them to buy a, another ticket than for her to wait for when the ticket is supposed to. Everybody told Chris that Alyssa moves slowly. Wait, I want I want her to say out loud on camera that what? Okay, he he wants her to say it to everybody on camera that she's done. So what you gonna do? You gonna force her mouth, Christopher? You gonna force her to say on say say we are done? 
<sighs> so so oh noise says it sounds like everybody's gonna be moving in together so i'm curious i'm glad that they're sharing the question in around this season i love it let everybody ask the question okay i don't think it's fair for one person to ask the question let everybody ask the question so thank you mary that first time for changing this because last season i got tired of the dusty okay i got tired of the dusty so noise asking saying um i'm saying are we everybody else is moving together what's the plan for you guys Everybody else is going to be moving this together. What are your plans? We haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. Well, let's see. Uh, we haven't talked about it, but I thought you could move in for the first half and then I can move in for the... No, Alyssa. No, this is it. Cut it off, girl. Cut it off. There go freaking Lindsay poking the beer. Alyssa is talking. I know I love you all. Here go, Alyssa. I need alcohol. Somebody needs to just punch her in her mouth. Okay. Ow. Pop. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I looking at here? Just punch her. She talked too much, Lindsay. Doesn't mean you shouldn't be. No, cut it off. There's no, cut it off. Everybody's looking at her like she got 10 hits. I had not heard that. She said we haven't talked about it, Chris. That's not something he's interested in. Look at, look at Olu. I love all of you. I didn't come here for you guys. Oop. I'm either all in or all out. That Steve is a decent looking guy. He just needs to go get his teeth clean. I agree with Chris. All in or all out, Alyssa. Just go. You don't like him. You're not attracted. Just bye. <clears throat> bye, 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 bye. Oh, I love all of you. I didn't come here for you guys. All in. I'm either all in or all out. I'm not looking to spend time with you like divorced parents. Ah! The notice that we will share this divorce, this parent, this experience like divorced parents. Our children being the other couples. We're not picking weekends. Ah! This is the draft. That's funny. She wants to live in the building, but not with that. Uh, Alyssa, two options. You need to walk away or you need to pay for an apartment for yourself, girl. You can afford it. Get your daddy to buy, pay for it for you. My plan is the rest of my life. Well, you had a wait rest of your life plan with the girl you bought the house with, but you dumped her. You can't keep putting yourself out there. Stop putting yourself out there, Pink Mansion. Miss the explanation. Stop putting yourself out there, Christopher. Oh, him saying I'm not trying to troll Alyssa. Alyssa, you don't like him. Walk away. Bye. Bye. He doesn't want to entertain. There's nothing to entertain, girl. You're not attracted. You're not compatible. There's nothing neither of you can do. 
There's absolutely nothing neither of you can do. Ah, oh, Katina's laughing. You want to do this based on what you want to do? And if you're all out, then so am I. If you're 1% in, then I'm all in. She's Alyssa says it's been a tough journey. It's a tough journey. She don't want to speak for him. I just want everyone to remember. What? Right. It's not my fault that this happened. That Lindsay, Alyssa, reach across the table and just punch Lindsay in her eyes. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. That Lindsay. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. She said it. Please don't do it, Lindsay, when I'm talking. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you for saying it. Just reach across the table and punch her. And you know I'm not a violent woman. That's right. Who Lindsay say? I'm not doing anything. Everybody look at Lindsay. <laughs> It hurts this that this happened this way for me. Oh, Chris is shaking his head. Oh, my God. Everything Alyssa says out of her mouth is so ingenuine. Alyssa, Lindsay, mind your business. You just want to call bullshit. Let's not forget what the rumors are saying about you, Lindsay. Oh, God. Here she go crying. Alyssa, why are you crying? Lindsay is laughing. Oh! Noi says, we understand it's okay. Katina's smiling like. <laughs> he wants to know if she's in. He said, that's the only question I have. Do you understand what he's saying? Yeah, Lynn's, uh, Katina. Oh, Katina, I actually understand what she's saying. Yeah, that's fine, J Jasmina. Thank you, Jasmina. Jasmina says she doesn't want to talk about personal things in front of everybody. That's okay. Okay, so she's had a conversation. Jasmina said, I had a conversation with Lindsay early and she's willing to sit down and answer every question you have. Right, we don't want to talk about your business in front of us. Oh, Olu Poofa said that's an excuse. I, I can't. Can we? I'm going to start fast forwarding through Olu Poofa. I can't deal with him. I just can't. Oh, Chris said uh, she's not trying. <laughs> A little Napoleon looked at Jasmina like. Does that mean you're trying? Oh, Katina's face. Katina's like. Ah, <laughs> does this mean you're going to try to say, I think I said we're not going to talk about it, but this, we're in a huge group. Look at, look at Lindsay. I can't see here. Say yes or no. What is Boston temperature right now? I can't. I got fast from through Ola Poopoo. Look at Ola Poopoo. Look like he's drunk with his eyes rolling back in the back of his head. Oh, what I've done to my wife to make her smile. I can't, y'all. Just be, Alyssa said, just this, because this is working out. It's not what we oh Lindsay face. She keeps making these face. Ah, she Lindsay said, I don't know what's going on with Alyssa. I don't think Alyssa knows what's going on between it. Wait a minute. She said how she uh talk about she got robbed. I understand what she's saying. They both got robbed. 
I don't think Alyssa knows what's going on. <laughs> she keeps making it about her that she was right. It is about her. What you want it to be about, Lindsay? He really got raw. Hold on, y'all. He can't bet his house on the idea that you're out. Leave the alarm, babes. You're going to continue to try, Chris. She doesn't want you. She don't like you. She don't like you. She don't like you. She not like you, Christopher. We'll leave her alone. You know what Chris needs to do? He needs to just ignore her. Walk away. Don't accept her call. I'm not trying to talk to her. Sit beside one of the other couples. Just don't be about Alyssa. Just leave her alone. So I guess this is the day before they go home. Oh, Lord, Mark said he's proud of, uh, of Alyssa. Proud that you jumped in. I wish Alyssa had jumped across the table and dragged her. That Lindsay. Okay, so he's she Mark is happy Lindsay didn't say anything. She's making one of her biggest mistakes of life. See, that's that bullshit y'all be talking about. Y'all told me that bullshit and when I was coming up. You making the worst mistake of your life by not talking to this dusty honey. And guess what? He's still a dust. There's still dust is. There's still dust is. I'm going to fast forward through all the poopo. I just can't deal with him. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. After Alyssa leave next week, I think that's going to be it for me because there's not going to be anything to watch. That's the only thing that keeps me interested is Alyssa and Chris and what's going on with them. All the poopo, I can't. <sighs> I'm sleepy. After I leave the funeral, do I want to go to the jewelry and drop her rings off to be cleaned and stuff? Because I didn't go the other day. Okay, so Mar uh, 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 Chris said, I didn't know you wanted to share the apartment. Why do you think that's the solution for us? It's not about the best and the best solution. I know I want to be a part of the ex experience and this experiment. I want to be able to move in. She wants to experience and participate with the group, but that includes being married, Lynn Alyssa. The experience is important. No, you're not. Well, I can understand you going for marriage to be the rest of your life, but you must not have read the stats. Ooh, her motive. She wants to enjoy the experience. She want to enjoy the experience. She just don't want to do it with you. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was the question he asked? Can I ask you some question coming in the in the whole thing? Sure. Do you feel like coming into the process you were referred to adjust to somebody who wasn't perfect? I 
I can't. I Chris, Chris, pick me sure. I just cannot. I can't, Chris. She said there's nothing about you she likes. She don't like your face. She don't like your teeth. You're fat. You're you're a uh, uh, cheeses Charles salesman. You have a bad personality. What do you want, Steve? Uh, 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 Mar, uh, 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 Chris. What do you want from her? I don't understand what you want. She not like you. She don't like you, Chris. So what more you want from the girl? I can't. Right. She didn't think that was gonna match with a hundred thousand per percent. Is that a hundred? A hundred percent perfect. The the but, but difference is that will she... um <laughs> they do the music boom boom boom. How much you wanna bet they're cutting out what she's saying? Oh, she said, no, I'm not able to sit here and have this conversation. <sighs> okay, if you all want this shirt, let me know, okay? it's And I'll mail it out to you. No! She said, I'll be able to have this conversation with you next week. I love it. I love it. Alyssa, just say you know what I don't want. I don't want to be a part of this. When did you quit on tap up? She said, "I'm not quitting because I'm here one right now." I'm talking about you, Alyssa. You need to quit now. <laughs> he asked, okay, do you think there's still a potential for this? Chris, I can't with Chris. She's not going to give the answer. I'm not going to say, I don't say you're frustrated. I'm also frustrated, right? Right. We're both, you're both in the same situation. You know what it is? Chris cannot, he cannot accept that a pretty girl don't, don't want her. That's men. That's Mr. Explanation in my book. Mr. Explanation, they can't, they, they don't understand why you're not interested. What do you mean you don't want me? You're not, what does, they don't get it. It's like rocket science. They just don't get that you're not interested. I don't understand why they don't get it. I don't like you. I mean, I like you, sir. I don't like you. Goodbye. He can't understand it. If you don't have a chance. Oh my God, Chris, she already told you y'all are not compatible. Oh, I cannot. Chris, she already told you. She already told you. You're not compatible. What more do you want? You in this because you want to spend it for somebody the rest of the life. The girl you bought the house with. That was her, Christopher. Wait a minute. What he say? I'm going to go what now? That blue shirt looks nice on him. Unless you can. I'm going to act accordingly. No, Chris. There's no chance. It's not fair respectful. You keep asking me the same thing when I'm telling you. He don't he don't get it. Right. He continued to, to want the answer. 
I don't like how you're talking to me. <laughs> Portraying this conversation. I don't like the way you did it. It's really disgusting to me. So I'm going to get up. Go ahead. <laughs> I know she has no interest in this. No, she don't have no have no interest in you. Oh, false dichotomy. No, she knew what she was getting into. She didn't know she was going to be matched with a man that's opposite of what she wants, Christopher. I don't get it. Oh. And why is he crossing his legs like that, Chris? Chris, is, uh, she's asking for more time. Producer, can you allow her to say? I'm in a position where... While on camera and in many situations, she, she has said to make a decision. She thinks she's still here, not for the right reason. Ooh, that's not fair. And I'm not going to stand for that. Ugh. I do. I think she came with the right intention. She just didn't think she was going to be matched with Shaka Zulu. Okay, the people from the Caribbean know what Shaka Zulu is like. Y'all know what Shaka Zulu is. Oh, I'm not going to let somebody assassinate my character. Chris is laughing. Nobody has said keep going. Ah, she gets up, she walks away. <laughs> and take the feel. I don't know what I don't know what else Chris wants in his tight pants with his legs crossed. I don't know what you what else you want, Chris. I, I don't know. I don't know what you want. She don't want you. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Who's that? Let me fast forward this. Walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. Okay, we're back. Okay, they're waking up. Olu Poop is working up. Ooh, Jasmine ain't got no, uh, Katina don't have no clothes on. Noy and Steve are cuddling. Okay, the couples were into the last few days of Car Korean uh, power. Ooh, Noy. Oh my God, her belly is perfect. It's time to go home. It's time for our newlyweds to head back home. Oh, there go. Ooh. Ugh, let me leave in San Juan. Juan. San Juan. <clears throat> there they come. That's a five the honeymoon. New set of stressors and challenges. Okay. I go find me another shirt to put on. That's important word. I can't, I can't. Lindsay's getting on my nerves too. See, everybody's getting on my nerves. I'm not going to have anything to watch. Oh, I can't. Mark got too many problems for me. I'm fast forwarding through Lindsay and Mark. Okay, Jasmine, Katina saying, I'm nervous about when we start living together and then we start seeing, yeah, you know, like, yeah, 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 that's how it is. It is, that's how it is. When you start living together, because, you know, we don't do a shacking up over here, you start seeing things that you have to be, you know, like men, they leave the toilet seat open. My husband, it took a couple of months for me to get him to keep that toilet seat closed. But I got it, girl. And that's what I'm teaching my little boy. Close the toilet seat. 
Okay, so when you start living together, you're going to see things you're not going to like, but you know, you have to find a way to work it out. Um, Katina said he has a very strong mind and very opinionated. He is just. Best case scenario, they move along and have zero argument. Okay, fast forwarding through her too. I'm tired of her too. <laughs> I'm just tired of everybody, okay? Y'all just gonna have to tell me what this, oh, that avocado looks delicious. Oh my God, I love avocado. Oh, omelet. We've had their ups and downs so far on this honeymoon. We don't have to always agree on things as Jasmina. Did somebody say Jasmine has a cross eye? Is that what's, I don't know, but I don't see it. Am I missing it? Oh, is the alarm going to be an issue? Okay, Noi and uh, Steve, they're leaving by Puerto Rico. Chris, are they going to scuba diving? Are y'all supposed to be getting on the plane? Oh, look at Katina here. Oh, that is so cute outfit she has on. Boston leaving paradise. Okay, where's Kristen? Oh, listen, <laughs> listen's all in the bay like she's a princess. She's getting up to get dressed. Steve is on the balcony looking out over Puerto Rico. Well, she might not think that the experts gave her what she's looking for. This is what I mean. These men cannot understand we don't want them. They, uh -huh, they gave you what you was looking for. A pretty girl. Okay? A pretty girl. But you're not what she's looking for. <sighs> I did everything I could to make it work with the exception of accepting that she don't like you. You're not her type. You're not what she want. You're not compatible. I don't understand. Why is she walking down the stairs in her, in her with no shoes on? Does her is her room upstairs downstairs? I think I did see that her room is upstairs and downstairs. Next time, next time. I just don't like these little twin beds they have for the. Ooh, Michael had a female roommate. Ooh, child, all the while home cooked meals consistently every day. The devil is a lie. Okay, Mark's life is blown up. <laughs> Oh, next week we gonna have the money and Steve and Noi talk about the money. Yes, girl, that's what I've been waiting for. I'm sorry, my throat. I got to take me an allergy pill so I don't go up in the funeral scratching my throat. Okay, y'all. What y'all think about what happened? Uh, <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> but um, I'm ready to move along. I'm ready. I'm I'm tired. I want to see the discussion with Noi and and Steve next week. So that's 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 gonna be good. Okay, I love you. Let me know what you think. I have to run. Remember to show me love with my bugs. And of course, my newest baby. I need reviews. Okay, this. 
book. I have sold quite a few copies. So I need those of you who have read it to just go over there and give me a review for it. A glowing five star. I love you, honeys. I have to go. Bye. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.